Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. We're here for another live class and this time I love the two products we're gonna be featuring. They're both celebration items, good now through the end of February. You can earn each of these two items with a $100 order. So, uh, and I'll show you a little bit more about that when we flip the camera down. Um, actually, we'll just talk about it real quick. Um, they're in your celebration flyer. If you don't have one, you can go to twocoolstamping.com and you can find a copy of our link to the flyer there that you can print out. So if you go to page 13 on your flyer, that's the Beautifully Happy set. So you can earn this set for free through the end of celebration, February 28th, and you only have to place a $100 order for that one. And um, then the other product that we're featuring is the Dandy Designs Designer Series Paper. This is an awesome, awesome mega pack of paper in fantastic colors. Again, just like the Beautifully Happy st uh, stamp set, you can earn this one for a $100 order as well. So, um, so you need a $200 order to get both, but you can pick and choose one or the other if you want, just wanna place a $100 order. Remember, uh, if maybe you already have those, we've already been celebrating for a whole month. So if you already have those, there are definitely other products in the celebration catalog that you can choose for $50 orders as well. So check that out. You can go to twocoolstamping.com and get a link to that flyer there if you don't have it in your hands. Now the other thing before we get started with the class, I wanted to uh, make sure that you were aware of the join opportunity. That's at the back of the book. You know, every uh, on an everyday basis, you can purchase the starter kit for $99 and get $125 worth of product. But during celebration only, oh my gosh, this there's three different options and they're all amazing deals. Some more valuable than the other. So let me show you, let me just walk you really quickly through the three different options for the starter kit. Now, before you tune out and say, oh no, I don't wanna do that. I'm not gonna be a demonstrator. I don't wanna demonstrate. I don't wanna do classes. I'm not gonna do this as a business. I just like to stamp. Well, don't tune out because this is for everybody. This is for anybody and everybody that wants to save money on Stampin' Up! products. It's perfect for a hobbyist. It's perfect for anyone who wants to save money. So purchase the starter kit and every order you have after the starter kit is 20% off at least. Plus there's so many other perks. You can go to my website, twocoolstamping.com and click on the uh, join my team link down the right hand side and you'll see all of the different benefits that you'll get from being a part of the Stampin' Up! family as well as being a part of my Too Cool team. Um, Okay, so I got off track here. There's three different ways that you can join. And this is only good through the end of February. So option one, you can choose to pay $129. So a little bit more than the, than the 99 usual price, $129. You get the Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. This is just like the white version, only it is, um, a boho blue color, which is a little sneak peek of the in colors that are coming. So this is one of the in colors, which is so cool. So you get this with your $129 purchase for the starter kit, plus you can select up to $175 worth of product of your choice. Yes, I said that right. So you get $50 in additional product over what you would pay Plus you're gonna get this uh, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and that's gonna be a $63 value. I mean, phenomenal deal. And you get all of that on your starter kit order and then every order after that, 20% off. You can't beat it. Okay, so that's option one. Option two is this exact same thing, only white for your machine. So you get the white version of the stamp and cut and emboss machine. So if you're not interested in the blue, which it's pretty cool and it's only for this deal. So um, those are the first two options. The third option is just the $99 starter kit like you would typically get, but instead of $125 in product, you get $175 in product. So still $50 in additional product that's gonna be free. Remember, you get free shipping on that starter kit as well. Plus you're gonna get a sample paper pumpkin kit. You're gonna get all kinds of um, 
You're gonna get catalogs that you can pass out to friends if you want to. And again, you're gonna get that 20% discount on future orders. So remember, you don't have to sell. You don't have to have classes. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't have to be a demonstrator and go all business crazy. You can just enjoy that discount as a hobbyist. Um, it's kind of like you know paying your membership to Costco and getting your discount for the year. So um, that it, although it's better because it will continue as long as you remain active and continue purchasing. So if you're purchasing anyway, if you're buying uh, on a consistent basis anyway, you might as well just get the starter kit. And there's no penalty for dropping. So get the starter kit if you never place another order. Just that starter kit deal alone is fantastic. Now I want you to place another order because you're gonna have so much fun behind the scenes. You know, one of, one of the best perks, especially for those of you who are watching this video right now, many of you purchased to get my class kits. Well, you can get the class kits from me at a flat fee if you're a part of my team. So you order your products on your own, get those at your discount, and then you can just order from me. I um, sell my class kits to my team members for just $15 flat fee. So you can still enjoy the kits. You don't have to be purchasing from me in order to get the kits. You can purchase from yourself, get that discount, and enjoy that. Plus, if you don't want the kit, you can just get the tutorial from me for free. I supply all of my team members, all of my class tutorials for free, free. So we have a tutorial library just for them, but you have to be a part of my, my team. If you want more information, feel free to contact me. You can message me and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Don't hesitate, you guys. This is, they don't offer awesome, awesome celebration deals like this very often. This one is really phenomenal. So if you've been considering it, if you thought about it, if you're a new stamper and want to add to your collection, if you um, just stamp a lot and place a lot of orders, it's all gonna save you a lot of money. So uh, buy that starter kit. Again, if you have any questions, just message me. I would love to talk to you more about this awesome opportunity and great, great value that you don't wanna miss. Last, um, through the end of February, as I mentioned, only during celebration. And there's only one celebration this year. For those of you who might be thinking, oh, I'll just wait until the next time it's available um, at, a, at a special promotion. There's only one celebration in 2023. So don't hesitate to sign up. Okay, let's move on to our class. I'm gonna flip the camera down. I'm gonna show you the products we're gonna be uh, talking about. You're gonna love this paper. You're gonna love it. So hold on for one second. I hate this part. I always tell you I hate this part. <laughs> Look at my ceiling. See how that is. My my light that keeps flashing because it's about ready to burn out. Okay, let me get this on a little bit straighter. Sorry. Okay, and we'll turn the light on here, get a little bit more light on the subject. All right, let's talk about, oh, um, let me move this down real quick. I forgot to mention for this class, like we did the last class, I'm offering two different class kits. So we have the five card class kit that you can earn for free with your $40 order or your 10 card live class kit with your $100 order. Remember to use that host code, that is important. That's the only way that you can qualify for either one of these free kits. So use the host code TNKPCGN4. That's going to be applied uh, at checkout. So look for the little box at the top of your checkout page. Okay. Um, oh, and you can shop at twocoolstamping.com. I probably didn't say that. But anyway, let's move on. Let's look at these awesome products. So we have the Beautifully Happy Stamp Set, which is gorgeous. It's a two-step stamp set. It's also the distinctive style, which means it has a lot of detail. If you are old school like me and used to get newspapers and you uh, know about the dot pattern that's in the pictures to make, you, um, to make the pictures look very realistic, that's what these are all about. It has kind of a dot pattern look. So when you stamp that color, it really, really looks very realistic. So you stamp the outline and then fill it up with the filler color. It also has a lot of beautiful sentiments uh, and, and quite a few sentiments here too. So, and a little tiny bee, which is always cute. So this is really pretty. Again, you can earn this for free with a $100 order placed during celebration. Then we have the Dandy Designs Desire, Designer Series paper. This mega pack 
is so awesome. I just, I can't, I can't tell you enough how much I love it. So part of it is that's so great is the color combinations. They're bright, they're fresh, they're trendy. But the best part is you get so much of it. This is a 12 by 12 pack, 12 by 12 size pack. You're gonna get 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. You're gonna have 12 different double-sided designs and you'll get four each of each design. So it is a mega pack. If you like scrapbooking, this is a great value. If you like card making, the patterns are really small, perfect for card making. And there's so many awesome color combinations, you're sure to find something that you love. So let me just um, kind of flip through here really quickly. Uh, there's, you know, Granny Apple Green, there's Coastal Cabana, there's uh, Pool Party, there's Fresh Freesia, there's Calypso Coral, there's Pale Papaya, Petal Pink, um, you know, and everything in between. Lots of the shades you can actually turn into other colors. Like, um, I think I have one card that's in soft seafoam. That's not really a part of the paper, but some of the colors actually coordinate with that and look like that. So that's one side. And then the other side has the coordinating patterns that kind of go with it in more of a solid color, but with a, a nice little subtle print. So lots and lots of options, beautiful colors, low, uh, you know, just really awesome coordination as they always have. And there's so many here, I can't even flip through them in any kind of organized fashion. <laughs> so, and remember, this is what you would normally get in a designer series paper pack, just these 12, but you're gonna get four sheets, four times that amount in 48 sheets of the 12 by 12 size. So um, you can earn this whole pack for free with a $100 order now through the end of celebration. This one is fantastic. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, the patterns really lend themselves not only to like a whimsical, but you know, we're gonna be using them with floral so you can step it up and make it a little more elegant, but it also works beautifully with birthday, with the adorable owls celebration set, with any kind of whimsical stamp set. It's just so bright and fun. I can't say enough awesome things about it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, in our cards today how amazing they look with this particular stamp set. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you five different cards today like I typically do. The last two, you'll wanna make sure you stay to the last two because we have two cool techniques that we're gonna do on the last one. Okay, the first one, if you were on my blog in the past day or so, you might have seen this one. It was my little sneak peek. And it's very simple, but it really focuses on that designer series paper, the Dandy Designs paper. So I'm starting with Balmy Blue in a, uh, the standard card size, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then I have a basic white sheet here, and it's four by five and a quarter. And then I have several different pieces of designer series paper that all coordinate together. So this one, I'm gonna make kind of a blocked pattern background. This one is a one and a quarter by five. And we're just gonna leave just a little border along the edge here. We'll add this one, this is a two and a quarter by let me measure three. We'll put that one down here at the bottom. And then this is, I think it's two and a half by three, now that I think about it. And then this one is a two and a half by two. And that'll go right up here. All right, so this is our background. And then I'll go ahead and put that right on our balmy blue card front. This goes together so simply. The, the thing that takes the longest is cutting the paper, and that doesn't even take very long, and I'll have all of that done for you in the kit. So, okay, the next thing we have, I have a die cut here. This is from the Designer Tags dies, and let me just show you what those are. I'm going to show you all the different uh, die sets that I use because these are ones that I really recommend to be kind of must-haves for your collection because they have so many awesome 
shapes. So this is called designer tags. So I used one of those shapes. And then I'm gonna get my piercing mat over here. If you have a photo polymer stamp, I like to stamp on a piercing mat. It gives it just a little bit of cushion and allows you to stamp a little bit more precise. And we're gonna stamp first with Memento Black. And we'll stamp that single flower right at the top. And then we'll do a sentiment right here at the bottom. Whoops, stuck right on there. So that is our first of two steps. Then we're gonna add the second step with a balmy blue flower. Now I don't know how well I'll be able to do this because you're gonna have to, you're gonna want to look directly over the top of your image to line it up perfectly and then stamp. Look at that, it just fills it in so nicely. Let me bring it up to the camera. It fills it in so nicely with color and it has a little bit of shading already on there, perfect. There's even a little, little tiny stamps for the flower center and the little bud at the side and I'm gonna make those in Coastal Cabana. So I put those little tiny stamps one on one side and one on the other. And we'll line those up and stamp those. And the flower center, and there you go. Quick, easy, so, so fast. If you wanted to, you could color that in with Stampin' Write markers, Stampin' Blends markers would look beautiful. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it, but the stamps are so, so fast. Okay, so to kind of dress this up a little bit, I'm adding a little bit of seal to the background. And then I'm gonna add some of this Pool Party Grow Grain Ribbon. It's so soft and satiny, and I'm just gonna fold that behind it. I'm gonna trim it off just a little bit. It's a little bit too long. So we'll trim that. All right, and then we're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals onto our card front. So quick and easy. All right, and then we're gonna put this one right over where this kind of converges there and then we'll add a little bit of bling. We usually do. So these are iridescent pearls. They match the colors in the dainty design so beautifully. And they have a little bit of elegance to them. So I'll put a couple of these on there and we are all set for that first card. Isn't that gorgeous? Simple and stunning. All right, I did, did you see the flash? My, my light bulb's flashing. <laughs> um, this is the two cool version. I like to do two versions, two cool versions of every card. And this is my second card. It has fresh freesia for the card base. I use different patterns. I kind of flip flopped the, uh, the blocking a little bit. This time I have a fresh freesia uh, open weave ribbon that I've tied around it and I have stamped my flower in pale papaya and fresh freesia, and then used the iridescent rhinestones, which I would say work even better than the iridescent pearls. They really capture every one of the colors that are in this designer series paper. So for our two card kits that we are offering, the one I am demonstrating is gonna be in the five card kit, and then if you get, and that's with a $40 minimum order, Remember, if you have $50 of it for your order, you can choose a free item from Celebration. And then if you place a $100 order, you'll get supplies for both cards and all of the 10 cards that I show today. Okay, next card up. It's a little bit of a fancy fold, not quite your typical. So this one's starting with Calypso Coral 
and we have it at seven and a quarter by five and a half, and you're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So it just has a little shortened flap for the front. Now I'm gonna start with the inside. I have just a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white. I'm gonna add a little detailed piece here of the Dandy Designs paper. This is a one quarter, one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And so we'll just put that on the edge and then we'll put this on the inside. We want this part to show. So there we go. In the front, we'll use another piece of that designer series paper. This one is gonna be two and three quarter by five and a quarter. So many different uh, patterns that coordinate together and just look absolutely amazing. Just bring it all together with those flowers from the beautifully happy set. So there you go, there's our card base. Then I have another basic white die cut. This one is from the Stylish Shapes. If you don't have any other dies, these are the ones you need to have because they have all of the basic circles and squares and banner shapes that you need and they all have that beautiful faux stitching that, um, you know, around the edge, the decorative edge. So, so pretty. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna use the large image here. We're gonna start, let's put the sentiment on first so we can have some better positioning. So we're gonna use the Memento Black and another one of the sentiments. You're so easy to love. And then I'm gonna hold my Memento ink upside down. It's just a little easier since this is such a large stamp. and then we're gonna just kind of angle it. And I put a piece of copy paper down but since we're going off the edge here. I didn't want to get my, my mat all inked up. So there is our stamp and then we're just gonna color that in with several ways. Okay, we're gonna use doo -doo 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 -doo, some pale papaya for the flowers for our two step, our second step. <laughs> okay, here we go. Had to get it positioned. So position that over your flowers. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to do this with the camera in the way. Not too bad, look at that, it just, boom. Color, shading, everything's there. Next, we have our two-step for the leaves, and this one's gonna be with soft succulent. And we'll just add that down here. I'm a little off on that, but you get the idea. Now, they do have another stamp that fills in the rest of this, but I didn't want it to be all one color. So I just thought I would mix it up a bit. And I'm gonna color these with Stampin' Blend. So let me get this ink pad out of my way. So here's the ink pad, or the ink pad, the, um, the stamp that would go over the whole thing, but that was would only be in one color. So I'm gonna use my Calypso Coral and give a pop of color to all these buds or berries or whatever you think that they are. They look like little flower buds. And then I'm gonna use my soft succulent light. That was uh, Calypso Coral Dark. This is soft succulent light, just to fill in kind of the green areas here. Like so. Okay. Look at that, how it brings that background paper, just brings it all together. We're gonna pop this up. So I only wanna have the dimensionals on this side. Of course, I don't wanna close it with the dimensional. So I'm gonna flip this 180 like so. So I know exactly how to line up those dimensionals. 
and we want that to be nice and secure on there. So I put about five. Again, so fast, so easy. We'll put this down here. We're gonna finish it up with a soft succulent open weave ribbon. Just tied in a knot. I love this open weave ribbon. So pretty, so easy to tie, shimmery. Trim the ends off here. And I'm gonna move this ribbon up. All right, and then one more thing I wanna add, and that is the iridescent pastel gems. These also look so fantastic with the Dainty Designs paper. So just a couple of those. And let's also add just a little, oh, I forgot to do my little flower center. I wanted that to be Calypso Coral. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella. I wanna tell you that a little Wink of Stella on all of these flowers for all of these cards just really make it over the top in person. You just definitely want to add that. Wink of Stella, I think it's, I think it's eight bucks. It just looks so good on everything. So there you go. There is our second card. Can you see that Wink of Stella? I don't know if it shows up, but oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty in person. All right, so this is for our five card class. And then I have a two cool version. This one is in Coastal Cabana. Did it on the horizontal this time. Pool party sheer ribbon around the card. I colored it in with some balmy blue, some granny apple green, some Bermuda Bay, and a different sentiment. And then added a different soft succulent color of pastel, iridescent pastel gems. Even though that's soft succulent and that's nothing to do with these colors, still really blends in very nicely. So again, five card kit, and then both if you want to get the, the $100 order for the 10 card kit. All right, another fancy fold for our third card. This one starts with Fresh Freesia. You're gonna have the basic uh, size, so you have eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and also two and an eighth and you're gonna accordion fold that like a Z. So you'll do that, score it nice and crisply. Then you're gonna add another pattern from Dainty Designs. We'll add that to the front of the card. And this is a two by no, it's a um, one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then we also have another inside piece that we'll just add. I'm actually gonna stamp that first. I always like to stamp the inside. If I'm gonna do stamping, I like to stamp that first so that I know that I stamped it correctly so it's not messed up, right, before I adhere it. So this one is going to say, for a very happy birthday on the inside. So that looks pretty good. We'll put that on the inside. And then we will decorate our outside. I have, let me get my ruler here because I forget the measurements. This one is a three by four and a quarter piece of dandy designs and then a three and a quarter by four and three quarter sorry three and an eighth by four and three eighths when you get my kits you'll have a full tutorial so it'll tell you all the different um, even though you'll get the supplies you'll get all the measurements and everything in the tutorial okay so this is gonna be our piece that 
is going to be on the front and it's gonna um, hide that inside. And I don't want that to pop that up. I just wanna put a little bit of seal on that. So again, like I did before, flip it 180 and put a little seal. I just wanna put it on this side so it's not going to adhere to the inside. <clears throat> like so. All right, then we have another die cut that I've pre-done. This is the deckled dies, deckled rectangle dies. Another must have for your collection. So if you're trying to get your order up to $100 or maybe even $200 to earn both of these awesome items for free, this is where I would put my investment in, some of these dies that I'm showing you. All right, for this one, we are going to also use that great big floral with Memento ink again. I'm gonna stamp that right down the center, like so. We're gonna use, let me get my chamois out here because we're gonna need to clean our stamps up a bit. The chamois, if you don't have one of those, it's so, so fast and simple. I do like to make sure that I have gotten everything off. So it does clean up really well. Even though it looks really dirty, if you just wash it out, uh, it, the ink washes right out of it and um, it just is so, so fast and easy. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna have doo -doo -doo -doo, fresh freesia. That will be our blooms. So we'll line that up. Not too bad. We'll do our leaves this time in granny apple green. Line that up. Oh, a little bit off. And then we'll do our top leaves. Again, you could color those in to make those two colors. I'm gonna just use my pale papaya and the stamp. Again, just gonna line that up over the top. Ta-da! Look how fast and easy that is. There's even a stamp for the middle. I don't think I put that on a block. There's a little tiny stamp for that middle. We're gonna put a jewel over the top of that, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but if you wanted to stamp that, you could as well. So that's really fast and easy. Let's add that to our card with some dimensionals. like using dimensionals give it a little bit of depth and I always like using a little ribbon to give it a little texture and a, some kind of bling that's pretty much my style all right we'll add that right like that let's do a sentiment I have a scrap here of basic white and I'm just gonna add this I did this um, I showed you this earlier, I think, but I have two different uh, sentiments I was gonna use together. So you just, I put them on one block so it keeps them nice and together and I can find them easily. This just says, sending happy thoughts. I'm gonna punch that out with the double oval punch. I might need to, yeah, I didn't punch that close enough to the edge. So let's cut that off and try it again. There we go. So I'm gonna, punch that, lined it up with the punch and then punch it. And then I've already punched a fresh freesia outline, scalloped oval. So I'll add that. And then we're just gonna add that to the bottom of our 
floral piece right here. And of course we need some bling. Let's go back to our pearls. We'll put one of the larger pearls for the center and then a couple of the smaller pearls over here. So there, again, you might wanna put some Wink of Stella on that just to bring it out. You know what I totally forgot? <gasps> Let me show you my finished card because I forgot to add the cute little bee. You definitely wanna put that bee around there, it kind of fills in. I was like, why is this so blank here? It's because I put the B here. So stamp that little B. I used the Pale Papaya um, Stampin' Blends and also the Fresh Freesia Stampin' Blends. And if you can see possibly that Wink of Stella, I Wink of stella the flowers and the B. So super cute. Love that card, love it. Okay, too cool version coming up. So this one is soft sea foam as the card base, a different dot, dotted pattern of the dainty designs. I use granny apple green, then another dainty designs um, and a coastal cabana pattern. And then I colored in, um, the, the blooms are the same, I think, the fresh freesia, granny apple green, and then I colored in the buds with pool party mm -hmm and colored the rest of the leaves in with granny apple green. This is in the soft sea foam again, and the inside is the same. Oh no, the inside is sending happy thoughts for a feeling better kind of day. So you can change that up. There's two different sentiments that kind of are two part there. So those are our two cool versions for those. We have two more cards. Remember to stay tuned for the last pair because we have two different cool techniques I'm gonna show. Okay, this one starts with Granny Apple Green. Nice and bright and cheery. Traditional card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This time I use the new Cane Weave Embossing Folder and I embossed some Coastal Cabana uh, cardstock. This is five and a quarter by four. Isn't that beautiful? It looks just like a caned chair. And we're gonna use the seal. Now be careful when you have uh, texture like this, you wanna go really slowly. Sometimes that paper is gonna peel up if you go too fast or push too hard. Um, it's just because with the texture, it's kind of loosened up those fibers and that seal is so sticky. Sometimes those fibers just wanna come right off and they roll up right into your seal dispenser. So just go really slowly and lightly. You don't need to press very firmly. All right, so here's our background. I have two pieces of designer series paper here, the dainty designs. I have a one and three quarter by five and a quarter. And then this one is one and a half by four. And we'll add this one first. And we'll put that right across the center. Like that, whoops. And then we'll add this one, kind of like a crisscross. And we'll make that about right here. And again, I have another die cut this time. It's from the Stylish Shapes again. And it's a square, but I'm gonna use it in a diamond shape. A little different. Somewhere on here I have some kind of sticky that's coming with it's coming with the card every time. Okay, this one I'm gonna use another sentiment. This one says kindness matters. Again, we'll use that large image, just a portion of it again. So you want to have a copy piece of copy paper or something underneath it. And 
We'll just add that to the side here. Isn't that beautiful? This time, get out our chamois again so we can clean up a bit. This time we're gonna be in fresh freesia. No, sorry, that's what we just were in. This time it's Coastal Cabana for the flowers. It's so hard to line it up with a camera in the way. <laughs> Not too bad, okay. And then again, Granny Apple Green for our leaves. So fast, whoops. I did the flowers. All right. This one, like so. And then the flowers, the little buds are going to be in fresh freesia. too bad for eyeing it <laughs> and this one again is going to have another jewel in the center so I'm not going to worry about um, coloring that in but you could color that in if you wanted to before I add that I'm going to wrap some fresh freesia open weave ribbon all the way around and again tie it in a knot I do a lot of knots, double knots. It's just quicker for me. I'm not very good at tying bows. I know a lot of people say they're not good at tying bows. So I usually leave those off. Just a little bit of texture and shimmer. And we'll make this go down to this side. And then we'll add this diamond right here with some dimensionals. Now you have that ribbon going through the center, so you might just want to put dimensionals on either side so that you're not putting dimensionals over the ribbon so it's not too bulky. Line that up. And then we'll finish off with some rhinestones. What do I do with them? Here we go. Some iridescent rhinestones, as I mentioned, those match so well. And again, I'm just gonna use one in the center, larger one in the center, and then two smaller ones over to the side. And then you'll add some Wink of Stella. Here's the one I did previously with some Wink of Stella. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So much texture and color. And then I have a too cool version. This, whoops, upside down. This one is uh, a little bit different. We used it as a square. We did it in the vertical. And I used melon mango, pale papaya, and two different colors of the Dandy Designs paper. I did that lip, same little folding for the ribbon behind it and different sentiment, different, um, all the same colors um, as the card here, granny apple green, pale papaya, fresh freesia. So that is our second version. Super, super cute. Okay, last pair, and these are two cool techniques that you can try with this stamp set. <clears throat> all right, the first one, we're starting with basic white. This is the thick. Now remember, if you're gonna use it as a card base, you're gonna to wanna to use the thick, not just the basic white. Basic white is a little thinner than most of the other cardstock. So the basic white thick is what you're gonna want for a nice sturdy background. Then I have a piece here. Let me give you the measurements. It is a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We're gonna add some designer series paper. So this is gonna be three and three quarter 
by two and a half. And this will be across the top. This is fresh freesia. So just a little 16th of an inch uh, border around that. We have the same piece here for the bottom. And it's just the flip side, actually. And I'll probably make it a little bit smaller because I, you don't really need it to be, it could be a two and a quarter, actually. You don't really need it to be a two and a half there, but it butts up next to each other. And then you're going to add a little strip of soft, uh, soft sea foam. This is gonna be three and three quarter by half inch and we'll just add it right across the seam here just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And that is our background. Okay. We're gonna put our focal point right here. This is actually petal pink. And let me give you a measurement here. It is two and three quarter by four. This is kind of a foundation for our focal point. Right here. All right, and then once again, I have a die cut that I've already cut from basic white. This is this time it is from Scalloped Contours, again, another must have for your collection. I love all of these scalloped rectangle shapes. And it has such pretty detailing with the faux um, stitching too. So for this one, like the previous, we're gonna add that large stamped background. large floral and then this time let's get some stamp and blends out do a little bit of coloring now I would say that if you can you want to let this dry nice and um, really well because if you don't let it dry and you start coloring, a lot of times you'll have a little bit of bleeding of the memento black line and you don't want that. So if you just let it completely dry before you start coloring, that's gonna help that problem. But I'm just adding some granny apple green to the leaves. I need a new marker. This one, my tip is totally blown and I'm almost out. I can tell the ink's almost gone. <laughs> so we'll add it to that. I'm gonna use the fine tip end. Maybe that'll work a little better for our greenery up here. Isn't that funny? It seems a little darker even coming out of the fine tip. I wonder why that is. So there's our greenery. And then we'll color in and I think I use, let's see, that was the light. Then I have fresh freesia, and this is also light. And we'll just add that to these little buds. And then the last thing we're gonna do is a special technique called paper piecing. Have you done that in a while? This is a fun technique. I've taken a scrap uh, of some other pattern of the, daisy, the dainty designs. I keep calling them dainty designs. It's dandy, isn't it? Am I saying that wrong the whole time? Oh dear. Dandy designs. I don't remember what I've been saying, but anyway, we're gonna uh, paper piece all of the blooms. So you might have to stamp this a couple of times, but you wanna get as many of these blooms on the paper. And I didn't get this top little tiny bloom, so I'm gonna stamp that again, just the top like so and then you're just physically going to use your paper snips have i been calling it dainty designs 
<laughs> dandy designs. Anyway, I'm like, my mind's blown now and I can't remember what I've been saying. So I'm sure you guys have been correcting me all along if I was wrong. <laughs> anyway, okay, so you're gonna use your paper snips. These are super duper sharp and they're super sharp to the tip, better than any scissors you can possibly use. You're going to cut out right on the line. And don't worry about getting too crazy. You just wanna cut on the line if you go a little bit um, outside the line or inside the line, no big whoop. And then notice when you're doing fussy cutting, I like to turn the paper rather than do this with my scissors. If you just kind of, I call it driving, drive the paper around, it's a lot easier to control. So you're gonna do that, and I won't have you watch me do it, but I have all the pieces here that I already have cut out, and then we're gonna paper piece those onto our focal point. So a little bit of seal. We're gonna add that right over the top. So you wanna use a pattern that's kind of um, pretty small so it doesn't overwhelm and overpower. And you also might wanna use some liquid multi-purpose glue might work a little bit better especially for these little tiny pieces but you just pop them in this especially would be really good for glue this little tiny piece <laughs> you're gonna want to pop that in and I cut that wrong too but you get the idea so you just pop that on there and look at that beautiful textured color love it use some dimensionals to pop that up as well So all of these cards kind of have a formula. I did the background with the designer series paper. I used a white die cut stamped on that and then added a sentiment, a little bit of ribbon maybe, and some bling. Uh, let's get a sentiment on this one. I used the stylus shapes to cut another die cut here. And this, oops. Pardon me, fell right out of my hand. Didn't ink anything I shouldn't, so that's good. And this one says, for a feeling better kind of day. We'll put that down here, right across the bottom. And I'm gonna add one little dimensional and some seal on the rest of it. Finish up with some rhinestones, iridescent rhinestones. Beautiful. All right, so there's our first of the two techniques that we're gonna do. This one's gonna be in your five card kit. You'll get that scrap paper so that you can stamp on that and cut it out. Uh, again, depending on the size of your scrap paper, you might have to stamp twice like I did to get all of your blossoms on there. And then you'll just fussy cut those. If you wanna put the B in there, you could do that um, to fill that space up as well. So the other version that I have uses a different technique. This time, I took a piece of vellum. Woo, fell right out of my hand. Take a piece of vellum, let me give you the dimensions on this. It is three by four and a quarter. And I stamped that same image on one side. And then for the other side, I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends markers. You could also use Stampin' Bright markers if you wanted to. And I'm gonna use Light Bermuda Bay. Now you wanna use the back because if you use the front, it might blur, it might bleed that dark ink. And you definitely want to make sure that it's nice and dry before you put it, before you turn it over even. Otherwise you're gonna smear it. Um, you could also use stays on ink, but it's not necessary. The memento works just fine. So I'm gonna just color these blooms in, again with the light Bermuda Bay. I have a light Knight of Navy 
that I'm going to use for these little buds. And then the Granny Apple Green Dark this time. Oops, I have to do this. Ooh, ooh, this one right here. Uh, then the Granny Apple Green for all your different greeneries here. I haven't done this technique in a while, but it's so pretty and it's so easy to do and it really makes the image pop. You always want to use a little bit darker since it's vellum, it's going to lighten it up on the other side, kind of give, you know, it's a frosted look, so it'll be a little bit lighter when you flip it over. So here's our piece of vellum. You can see it is lighter, even just being off of the, the white. And then I did a very similar card only this time, I took that white scallop contours and I layered that over the top of it. So you can see how that really makes those colors pop. Uh, you can see I used the white thick uh, card base, Coastal Cabana for the outline matte, a uh, balmy blue pattern, another um, blue pattern, and then I used Pool Party for the little finishing strip. I popped up that scalloped first, and then I used that same size, um, I think it's the same size. No, it's actually a little bit bigger. Um, and I told you what it was, but I forget. So let me tell you again. It's three by four and a quarter. Is that what this is? No, that's a little bit smaller. Anyway, I put that over the top. And the way you can adhere that, whoops, goes like this. The way you can adhere that is just with some glue dots. You wanna make sure you put some glue dots right under the colored part. Um, and if you can find a circular area like the center of that flower or one of these, um, some of these bulbs here or these little buds, that's a good place to put it so, that, uh, so it doesn't show through very well. So that is how I finish that card in the second technique. I finish it up with a rhinestone with on in the center and then two on the top just like I did with this one. I used a different sentiment, birthday sentiment, but those are the two cool techniques that we have for those last two cards. And again, you'll get this, all the supplies for this one on your five card class kit and then all the supplies for both cards in your 10 card kit. All right, let's get all of this stuff kind of push it out of the way so you can see everything that you're going to get. Again, $40 order gets you a free five card kit. And that $100 order is going to get you a $100 kit. Let's look at just the five cards that you'll be getting. <laughs> They're all in a big pile over here. I apologize. <laughs> all right. So we did one, two, three. Where's our other one? Here. Four, five. So here are all of the cards for the five card class. And then we're going to switch those out with all the cards from there we go so here are all of the rest of the cards that you'll receive if you get that 10 card kit lots and lots of pretty designs so many awesome versatile uh, sentiments, beautiful patterns, beautiful color combinations. I hope you really enjoy it. I so enjoyed making these cards for you. And uh, I did these with my team uh, last month and they really love them. So I hope you love them just as much. All right, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me for another Too Cool Stamping Live class. Uh, I hope you really uh, love that beautifully happy stamp set, the awesome dandy designs paper. And remember, those are good for free until the end of February. 
And also don't forget, if you really wanna save and get an extra special deal, you'll want to do that starter kit. And remember that's for anybody who wants a discount. You don't have to sell, you don't have to be a demonstrator that uh, has classes or anything like that. You can just enjoy the discounted stamps and your stamping hobby. So look into the details on that on my website. Remember, you can get my classes for a discounted rate. And also, you can get all of my class tutorials for free when you are a part of my team. Look for all the details at TooCoolStamping.com. Okay, everyone, thank you again so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. This is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.